Hey guys, name's Fenton playing some Kalendra's Legacy, and before we get started, I just want to say a few words about the README here and my history with this mission. Early on, as, as I was starting to play FMs, of course I heard about this, you know, very famous mission and all that, so I, uh, I heard about this and I think I downloaded it and read the README and just checked it out, and I was really put off from playing it and I didn't ever end up playing it, and you see this, this bit in the README here, it's sort of the note from the author, uh, Kalendra's legacy might not fit into your understanding of the Thief universe. Now, I joke and I say, you know, oh, it's because it's, it's like, not canon and all that, but it wasn't really that that put me off. It's, it's this, this bit here kind of rubbed me the wrong way. You know, Garrett, Garrett isn't the same fellow because I'm a writer and he wants to write his story, but he's using Garrett and the Thief world and it feels kind of intrusive and then it goes, it goes, uh, He's the king of thieves, and and it takes a look at Garrett's love life, which I guess I didn't want to hear about that at the time either. And here it says, I was not a fan of Tutu's Victoria romance. What romance? I found myself squirming during that briefing when Garrett told her not to wait up because he'd be working late. I love her. She tore my eye and has green teeth. What does this mean? He loves her. He's saying not to wait up. He'd be working late. What does that have to do with loving her? He doesn't say that at all in any way possible at all. And so he created a new romance because... <laughs> this guy's got sex on the brain. Seriously. He sees things where they aren't. That's what I thought anyways. Like, look, I mean, I don't want to rant too much here at the beginning. And I mean, yes, it takes a lot of hard work and passion to make this. And I respect that. I just... This, this whole thing rubs me the wrong way. You know, he, he doesn't want Garrett to be in love with Victoria, even though there doesn't seem to be any indication to me that he is. And so he writes Garrett with this ridiculously dressed, also was in the Keepers, also became a thief, and she's just like a complete, 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 complete sex-crazed maniac teenage boy fantasy. And it's like, so writerly. I don't know, you guys. But apparently, it's a classic, so uh, let's just continue on. I'm sorry, I, I know I'm being a jerk like this. I don't mean to say that I don't appreciate the work here. It's just I'm telling you my feelings. Let's play some Calendra's Legacy. That's a pretty good picture there. All right, Footpad, Cat Thief, and Garrett. Cat Thief, we... <laughs> of Jordal from those freaks at the Lilac Society was a major pain. If I had known getting a little leg was going to cause me so much trouble, I'd have said to hell with it. True, my night with Mercedes wasn't exactly without reward, but I decided before dawn that it was time to teach her a little lesson. No honor among thieves. I don't blame her for making me do all the dirty work. I'd have done the same thing in her position, and she'd probably have done the same thing in mine. Earlier today, I leaked word of the Silix to several ears, and I've already got a buyer lined up for tonight. This thing is hot. The client is an old crone, and a member of the aristocracy, a certain Duchess Sudomsa. I've arranged the drop on familiar turf at the Black Dye, a pub I've used for business in the past. I like it because it offers several possible escape routes if anything should go wrong, which seems to happen with annoying frequency these days. I'll be traveling light because... Wearing an arsenal to meet a rich client? Well, it's bad taste. 
Well, Vaso has agreed to deliver some extra equipment to a rented room, in case shit happens. I just need to meet Vaso, tell him where to drop my stuff, and rent a room at the Old Widow Inn. It's time to make last night pay off. Uh, loot. My favorite kind of censoring object. Could these sounds get any louder, please? Bro, you're getting ready for a job tonight, so be discreet. This means no human kills and no failed attempts at thievery. If you're up to no good and someone sees or hears you, it's game over. Before anything else, meet Basso at Merkbell Gate. It's out of the rain and you can instruct him on where to deliver your equipment later tonight. Make your way to the old widow, rent a room, and when you're settled in, catch some sleep before tonight's job. No knockouts. No kills and no failed attempts at thievery. <laughs> Do I want to play with no... I don't know. Maybe I'll regret it, but I guess. What? <laughs> What's all this? Well, if it's free, then why put it there? Oh, why, why is this all weirdly colored? 1,200. Well, that's a spoiler if ever there was one. No ropes, so I guess I'll just buy a bunch of waters. Sounds good to me. Ooh. Ooh, wow, that's that's some frame rate dropping. What the hell? This is, this is old dark even. This isn't new dark, this is no texture packs. Are you Basso? Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Purple suited man walking around town at possibly not night? Walking through a tree? Sure, I guess we all gotta go for our morning strolls. Uh, excuse me, but... Why is this crap so loud? Like, let me guess, this isn't actually ambient, am I right? <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's good. It it sort of is. I don't I don't know. I don't get it. This is going to be hell. No failed attempts at thievery, but successful attempts at thievery. I guess my compass is super grimy. So Wait a minute. Hang on, hang on a second. Sorry about this. Okay, that's better. Yeah, oh, never mind. Yeah. I had to restart. Yeah, no knockouts, and this looks very blue, much like Majora's Mask Land Supreme. You know what I'm talking about. The Mirror of Return mission, whatever. Whoa! Uh. That <laughs> we have automated gates instead of just automated secret door. Whoa! Okay. That's not an auto map, though, is it? I'll I'll start my run in Merc Bell. A run? Does it say I can barely read it? That's a cool hand drawn map though. Ugh. But yikes. See Yeah, I, do I oh I'm just all messed up now. I have to do tech stuff and now I'm all out of the zone, man. 5188 Dorian Way. That sounds like a good place to get some more sex because that's the important thing here. Ah, garden gate key. Awesome. Lieutenant Mosley with dyed hair to be more normal. Gotta go into her garden. <laughs> this guy's drinking. He's, he's going to go to the short pier and take a long walk because he talked too much. Yeah. Meet Basso at Merc Bell Gate. Merc Bell gate meet basso there but start my run so does that mean this is where i start start my run on merc bell here is this where i start then or is that like where i go after this <laughs> uh no winter room with the old widow where is that there it is okay well i guess i'll just kind of run all around until something happens. So, 
do people here care about me? Maybe like. Danger! Seasonal undertows keep children and pets away from water's edge. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess that guy's a child and or a pet. Wow. So deep, there is no bottom! And my mind imploded. It seems... as if there could be... an ultra... Wow, no messing around. Just, just there's a building three inches out of your reach and we already don't bother with collision for it. No. <laughs> okay. That's, that's pretty great. Anyway, yeah, Scrubby Compass, it's weird. I consider it a meta thing, but I guess, because it's abstractly shaped, but it's still like non-abstractly scrubbied. Scrubbly double D. Yeah, this 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 is making me a little more comfortable because it reminds me of Majora's Mask Mission Supreme. Yeah. And as long as it stays blue of some shade, I'll be totally happy. I won't constantly complain about the intrusive nature of the writing and the Apparently, apparently some people don't like Mercedes's voice. That I have no idea what you're talking about. Her voice is perfectly fine. It's a good voice. She's a voice actor. She acts a voice. It sounds like, uh, I don't know, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's her design and her character and her writing that I don't... <laughs> Whoa. So... Uh, like, scouting, like, test. I mean, yeah, I get the feeling I'm, I'm allowed... No, not at all. Okay. Not allowed. I'm not allowed. I'm a quiet. Oh, they're all in here tonight. Okay. Whoa. Oh, okay. It's just guards training. Look, dude, I'm just trying to read. Yeah, this. That is a beautiful sky. This looks a lot like Majora's Mask Thief Mission Town Supreme. I'm not going to ever call it by its regular name. By order of Cardinal Alcandor, Merkbell District will be closed to traffic today and tomorrow. All citizens are advised to hear the Cardinal's decree and abide the quarantine until its expiration. Ah, the good old quarantine trope as an excuse. Everyone uses it. I mean, what else are you going to do? Merkbell Precinct is well known for its highly skilled officers, and the recent criminal activities in the district have already been squelched. All that remains is to find the culprits and put them to death. So you haven't found the culprits, so it's not exactly squelched. Cardinal Alcandor is certain these miscreants' activities will not inconvenience the good citizens of the city past tomorrow night. Thank you for your submissive obedience and your continued humility as a common but useful peasant in the Cardinal's good grace. <laughs> Alcandor the Just. Well... <laughs> submissive peasants, eh? I guess this probably says the same thing. Hey, you. You're losing. So, why did I buy offensive weaponry when I clearly know that I'm not supposed to knock or kill anybody? Word on the... Oh, yeah. I always forget to read these. The word on the street is that Merc Bell has shut its gates and the boys in black are on the lookout for suspicious characters since Lord Alharzad's antique collection disappeared last night. You'll have to mind your manners to avoid detection and probably find an alternate route into the district, which doesn't really tell me anything I didn't know, which I guess is why it's free. Also, if I want to know the word on the street, I could just listen to the street, you know? Listen to the street. The word is pineapple. Okay, that weather... Oh, I just skipped the loud weather sound. That weather sound is, like, super loud, and... Dude, excuse me, could you just move? I'm trying to read this extremely, incredibly sexually attractive note there. I just can't help it, because I'm a guy and have no restraint, lol. I guess he just never walks again. That's ultra annoying. <laughs> but sure... That is... I guess if you're playing this without commentating, then it's fine. Dude! Lost cat see Bob Grenadine at the black... T now wait, now you don't care about me? But if I bump into you, you do. What? I'm not 100% sure what's supposed to be going on. Uh... Okay. Lost cat? A, a lost cat? 
though? Why is this note right in front of this guy? There's no cats in the engine. What are you talking about a lost cat? You can't get that reward. Unless it's like a cat statue. I got the cat statue fever. Yeah. Uh, so once again, I, I don't know exactly what constitutes me doing something wrong here. But okay, this one has not had an update for New Dark as far as I'm aware, so this is just the original being played modernly as best we can. So, all right. I like... That's good. That's good. I almost want to put that as a screenshot, but what... <laughs> what? Um, a guy wearing a barrel is running into a barn with a guy floating in the air. One gets the impression this isn't what it's supposed to be. But I don't know what the hell else it would be. I mean, seriously. Uh, is that an inspiration for the... Uh, oh, the Widow's Inn. Widow's Lane. Okay. What? 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 What is happening over here? There was a... A dead guy in the... <sighs> the inspiration for the guy running around dressed as a pineapple in, in the Corrigans or whatever it was. Let's say or whatever it was. What? Every time I reload something different, ha what is happening? Every literally. Why? What? Why would he sometimes just fall? Sometimes go and dress himself in the barrel. No, he's in the barrel. Why? Like, I get it's supposed to be funny, but it doesn't make any sense. And now that guy isn't falling over there anymore. What? I have absolutely no idea why you would sometimes make the guy get knocked out. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm at a loss for words here. I don't understand it. Oh, what? No unsuccessful thievings. Gotcha. I'm sorry these sounds are super loud, but it's like I said, the, the ambience is like stupidly... But it's not even ambience, it's... Touch not this plug of stone sealed for time against unspeakable evil. Good friend, for Jesus' sake, forbear to dig the dust in closed air. A plug of stone. <laughs> uh, this is a bit silly. Unspeakable evil, and you just move a rock. <coughs> Unspeakable swamp gas, anyway. <coughs> Seriously? <laughs> I I am utterly confused by this mission. I'm sure someone can tell me some uh, some clarity <coughs> type info up in here. Is it like am I supposed to get past the bottom by blowing it up or something or is it just why is it unspeakable evil? It's it's poison gas or something. I mean, I guess that's evil enough, but it isn't really unspeakable. I just spoke of it. It's poison gas. I don't know. And now I'm up here again, and now... The guy has passed out. Is this thing broken? I don't even know, so I'm gonna leave it... I'm gonna leave it here. Hopefully someone can tell me what's going on. Otherwise... 
Welp. Uh, uh, bye and bye for now. Yeah, so I think it's it's just his tone that he's like, well, I don't want to write their story. I want to write my story. I'm a writer. Mm. But but then he like criticizes LGS for apparently writing a bad love story when I don't think they wrote a love story at all. And he's like, I can do better. And I squirmed at their love story, so I wrote my own. And then he wrote his own, which is like 10,000 times more blunt and ham-fisted and squirmy. Like, you squirm at Garrett in Victoria, but you don't squirm at Garrett in Mercedes, where she walks around bearing her legs while she's trying to thief and giving you shots of her crotch when she's walking back home. And, and like... Talk constantly talking about sex in the most blunt and unsubtle manner. You think <laughs> it's it's not even that. I think it's just his tone that he sort of acts like he's this big shot writer, and then it's like clearly way more ham fisted than LGS. Anyway, that whatever. I'm done. Bye.